We are digging for answers this morning about a new wave of COVID infections overseas. Doctors here are watching it closely. The World Health Organization says more than 11 million new cases of the BA2 subvariant are just the tip of the iceberg because fewer people are testing. Our Dustin Grove has the latest local numbers and trends. In hospitals across Indiana, COVID cases are nearing record lows. Masks have mostly gone away and we're traveling again. But just in time for spring break and the summer season comes concern about a new wave of infections. The subvariant of Omicron, known as BA2, has spread quickly around the world and is now showing up in the U.S., accounting for as much as 40 percent of cases in the Northeast. So far, only one in five cases here in the upper Midwest. Could it mean another return to masks and restrictions? Here's what Dr. Anthony Fauci told NBC News. The fact is that COVID may not be done with us. It's going to be around for a while. We'll have to deal with it. But you're right. There will not be an appetite for people to go back to a masking situation. So let's try and avoid that by doing other things. Those other things include testing, social distancing, and staying home when we feel sick. Here's the hopeful news regarding this new subvariant. A British report says so far it does not appear to cause more severe illness or an increased risk of having to go to the hospital. It also appears to be spreading more slowly here in the U.S. than in other parts of the world. And several medical experts have said they don't expect a huge surge like we've seen before. One doctor told our National Verify team one thing we've got going for us is that many people in this country have immunity to the virus from either having had COVID or through the vaccine. Vaccine advisors to the FDA are set to meet April 6 to discuss the possible need for COVID-19 vaccine booster shots down the road. They'll look at the potential process for selecting variant specific boosters and whether the vaccine could become an annual shot similar to flu shots. Representatives from the CDC and the National Institutes of Health will take part in this meeting.